Hello there everyone, my name is Pelican and welcome back to another Battlefield Hardline video. Today we were using the MG36 primarily and uh, basically just went and killed a lot of people. I think I ended up with like 19 kills and 5 deaths and I came top of the board. We did unfortunately lose the game but anyway it's not about the gameplay today as I said in my last Battlefield 3 commentary that perhaps I would do some kind of life story and I'm not going to call them life stories. It's just that's what they are, life stories. I'm probably going to go back and call it Real Talk because that's what my old thing where I used to talk about my old series where I used to talk about uh, things relating to me or things that have happened or advice or things like that. So this is Real Talk and welcome back. It's been a very long time since I've done something like this and I'm getting back into commentaries as you guys know. So apologies if I am a tad rusty. But today I wanted to talk about a subject which could be quite delicate to some people I presume that some people might get offended by this but I, I I don't really know where you would maybe some people wouldn't want to view it or not I might make it 18 rated I'm not sure but anyway this story is about a perverted or pedophile teacher that actually if anyone that went to my school is watching this you'll know who he was and I won't use his real name or will I use his real name um Oh, his, his real name's funny though, and it, ah, I don't know. I don't think I'll use his real name. But anyway, uh, this teacher who I went, to, who was a music teacher. He was a music teacher at my secondary school. Thankfully, not primary school. That would have been even worse. Uh, but anyway, this guy was. I hate to say it, but I actually kind of liked him. He was kind of a cool teacher, until I found out that he was a. I don't know if you can class him as a pedophile or I, I think he's more of just a perv and it was weird what he had uh, on his computer and basically uh, this teacher was a music teacher and he was only in the school when I was in year 7 and 8 and I think he got kicked out in year 8 and the worst thing about it was someone that was in my year that I actually go on the bus with to college now we don't actually talk because we're not exactly friends not that we're not friends we just don't talk he was basically this paedophile teacher, we will call him Mr... I'm just going to call him by his real name, his name was Mr. Harrywood. And at first I didn't really get it because I was young, but now I look back and you say it, Mr. Harry Wood. Mr. Harrywood. But anyway, this teacher was the paedophile guy and hopefully he doesn't watch this or no one from my school watches this and I get in trouble for it, hopefully it won't happen but this guy the pedophile and the guy that goes on my bus the uh, kid that was in my year he was basically a complete ass lick to this pedophile teacher at the time obviously he didn't know he was a pedophile but he was the teacher's pet he would sit outside and watch all the kids come in stand by and make sure nothing happened as kids were walking up into the main entrance of the school and he'd sit there with a coffee and the kid in my year would just sit there talking to him every single day because I'd pass them when I walked into school. And it was weird. At first I was like, alright, he's maybe he's just a teacher's pet. But I think it was weird that he kind of stayed there the whole time every day and uh, watched kids go by. Probably uh, leads on to the next bit, which is what this guy actually got done for. Basically what they did is they found some very sensitive material on his uh, computer. And this computer had, oh god, I didn't even want to, this computer had pictures of child pornography. Yes, child pornography. And, um, or cheese pizza, some people call it, but <laughs> that's, that's another story. Um, but anyway, this uh, guy, this teacher, Mr. Harrywood, who eventually did get kicked out, and I imagine by now it's, what was it, three, four years later, Four years later, he's probably not a teacher anymore. I can I can't imagine a school employing a paedophile after knowing he was a paedophile. And look, there's a guy hanging there, kind of weird, but it's better. And I imagine that the guy didn't get a job again, or at least not as a teacher anyway. And this guy was fired more or less immediately, and it went around the school as these sort of stories do. And then he was basically bullied by everyone, but it wouldn't really matter because he wouldn't know about it. But it went around the school; everyone was talking about it. And, um, yeah, this guy was a weirdo. He was my music teacher. I forgot to mention this. He was my music teacher through seven, uh, year seven and eight. And I thought he was actually a cool dude. But when I found that out, I was like, holy shit, 
this guy was a paedophile. I don't ever want people knowing that I kind of thought he was a cool guy, but now it's out in the open. People know. And um, no, I don't think he's a cool guy at all. I think he's a fucking weirdo if he had child pornography on his um, computer. And it wasn't like people our age. It wasn't like 13 or 14 years. It was like proper fucking child weird shit. It was like... Uh, I, I didn't want to talk about it. It was child pornography, and that's all you need to know. It was not very nice to hear about after a teacher you thought was kind of cool, but turns out he's a fucking weirdo. But, yeah, this is the story of the uh, paedophile teacher, and unfortunately, um, I yeah, as I said, I don't really know what happened to him. I imagine he didn't go into teaching again. And probably works in some kind of shit job because, I don't know, I, I feel like if a teacher spends all of those years at university, all of their time into becoming a teacher and they do something like that, like not only have they lost, a, I suppose, a good job, something that they like to do, but they've wasted all that time at university, all that money that they spent training and going to school or going to a university to study this. And if you guys don't know, university is really expensive. All of that just gone. Wiped out straight away. Because you made stupid mistakes and you were sick. I uh, actually finished 19 and 4. Because uh, you were a sick dude. And uh, you ended up with child pornography. But this has been the story of the perverted teacher. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make subscribe and like the video. Until next time, have a great day. And I will see you guys later.